off the train at Paris station and I am curious if we're half a mile from Saffrecourt. Welcome back to Paris, guys. Where's that guy? Early crossing. So we have left Giverny and the gardens of Monet behind. We are now back in Paris for an afternoon of popping around to some choice locations before we fly out tomorrow. So right now we are on our way to Notre Dame. <gasps> Notre Dame, yes. So we were at the back of the line just a second ago. There is now a line all the way back there. And the door is way up there. There's no charge to get into Notre Dame, but there's still lying. <gasps> they ring the bells! And this is the way you follow the eyes of the reviews. Quasimodo's doing his job. And that's what you put the eyes of Again, please wear clothes in the church. If it means anything to you guys, this bridge is Pont Neuf, which should mean something to me, so I guess that's the material point. I was telling the family about this and then we kind of stumbled upon it. Behind me is the lock bridge which you can buy a lock from this lady right here or bring your own and then you and your significant other come you write your name on it or you know something and you lock it onto this bridge which i think is technically illegal and um then you are supposed to throw the key away it means you're locked in love forever Something like that. If you're gonna do it, you better make sure that it's the right one, otherwise it's gonna be really awkward. Um, so yeah, but it's like, it's crazy. There are tons of them. And then also, like, there's more over there, and then more over there, like, over, over, far over there. Anyway, it's really impressive. There's, there's a lot of them. Um, just all right along the Seine, which is just lovely. Before we left, one of my clients told me that a fabulous way to catch the highlights of Paris is to do a river cruise. Well, at the time, we didn't think we'd have time for that, and so it was just kind of like, oh, that, that's a nice idea, maybe next time. But we ended up with the whole, mm, probably like a half day, I guess, in Paris that we weren't expecting. So, wouldn't you know it, we're doing a river cruise. Um, which usually I'm much more of a get out on the street and just bounce around on your own. But with how little time we have, I think this will be just right. 
La gare fut construite pour l'exposition universelle de 1900. Les Bourbons où se trouve l'Assemblée nationale. On its left, it leads to the Bourbon Palace. the 1900 and its impressive glass roof weighs almost as much as the Eiffel Tower. Wow. Il abrite aux autres gauche la cathédrale Notre-Dame and on your left the cathedral. Il est bien connu pour ses vitraux, ses statues et ses gargouilles. The cathedral is well known for its gargoyles. Stat it's the Louvre. We've made so many good memories in there. Good old Louvre. There's so much stuff in there that if you stood in front of each thing for three seconds, it would take you three months to go through it. So now I don't feel so bad that we didn't make it to absolutely everything Why take two elevators when you can have one? It's a family party. Oh. It is time to head to the airport. It's Friday morning, I think, and we're all packed out of our hotel in Paris and trotting off for our final leg. Never in my life have I seen a security line this long. It goes, it, it, it just keeps going and I think it then goes like down some stairs and I can't even see anything that has to do with security right now at all. So, I guess we'll be just wiggling along slowly. So, when you're stuck, not really moving very quickly with so many people, then it makes you feel like you want to organize like a, a massive flash mob and be like, okay, I'm sure it's somebody's birthday today. We're all gonna sing happy birthday and do the Macarena together. Ready, go. I think that would be fantastic. I don't know if everybody's up for it. Happy birthday is a universal language, right? Oh my goodness, after an incredibly long line and what felt like really slow people. We made it to our gate as they're boarding our group, but the entirety of our group is not here. We have Levi and Isaiah, Joel, Mom and I, but we don't see Dad or Schaefer who were back in security last we saw and everybody was kind of traveling and mini um heard so um here's hoping they come quickly so we're hoofing it through the airport we like mules <laughs> did you feel like a mule yes yeah that's okay we made it up in the high but kitchen that's kind of <laughs> we're we're going and then we're about to get on the plane and the lady stops us and she's like um we we just I want to ask you a few extra questions and I look around and all of my family members are getting stopped and they are pulling us all aside separately and they're asking us all these questions about what do you do for work explain to me your profession where did you go in France how many days were you here and I'm like okay um uh it, it wasn't it wasn't three weeks but it was it was it wasn't two either it was like two two and a bit a little it was almost three weeks Anyway, felt like an idiot. And then she's like, where did you go in France? And I'm yeah, like, um, Paris. And then, uh, and then I had to like think and think about all the different places we went. Couldn't remember the name of Barcelona. And then she's like, <laughs> and then she, she asked me what I did for work. And I was like, oh, so we all work for our family company. And anyway, 
Okay. Then I hear Isaiah next to me being interrogated by a different guy, and he's like, how many Bible names are in your family? And Isaiah's like, uh, Benjamin, Daniel. We're having a nice time. Yeah. We're having fun. Oh, good, good. Um, and the lady's like, okay, very nice. You have been randomly selected for an extra, um, an extra search. So come this way, please. And then I'm taken away from the family and put in this group of people that were all standing there and were like, what did we do? I don't know. Anyway, so, um, we will, we, we all just go in there and she checks and she, I don't, I don't know what she did, but um, I got on the plane with the family. It was all good. I had a nice, you know, tete-a-tete -tete with the other people that were also getting searched. So, um, yeah, that, that was a scoop. We're now hunkering in for the long flight to Dallas and then to Seattle. So, oh my goodness, guys, we've made it. That was a lot of flying today. We have arrived home. And I am still processing all of the fabulousness that took place over the past two and a half weeks. Um, off the top of my head, favorite highlights would be Barcelona for sure, horseback riding in the Paragord, and hiking in the Pyrenees. So cool, and all the food. Oh, the food, it was such a good time. So special that we all could go and do this. Man, how many families get to do this? It was good, it was so, so good. What an adventure.